Hi friends, it's Justine. Actually, I just cut my hair again because if you know me, I cut my own hair for about two years now. But that is not relevant to this video. This video, today, we will be talking about some of the awkward moments in my life that includes boys. Someone on Twitter suggested that I make an awkward boy stories video and Cat Team Lights actually has a cat chat that she talks about her boy stories like of her own. She has about two videos like that and I love them. So here I am today. Yeah. Honestly, there hasn't been that much guys in my life, but a lot of the moments that I have with them are awkward, most definitely. Let's start with what is probably the earliest memory I have that is awkward with a boy. When I was about 8, I had obviously like a lot of kids when you're 8, you have a crush. Mine surprisingly liked me back, I don't know why, honestly. He probably remembers the story but if he doesn't and this does not get to him, like kapag walang nagsabi sa kanya na kinwento ko to dito, Sana hindi niyo maalala because it's honestly so embarrassing. I can't. Sobrang tagal na and matatanda na kami pero nakahaya pa rin. Promise. For some reason, we were going to compete in this ballroom dancing competition. Looking back, I don't remember how I told my mom na magsasayo kami, like sasali kami. And hindi ko rin maalala paano kami nagyakagan. Like, tara, sali tayo, ganun. Ano yun? Para mas may time kami magkasama. <laughs> So one day we were just practicing sa kanila and I remember so clearly what I was wearing. Meron kasi akong friend na nakatira sila sa Japan, like nagbabakasyon sila doon. Tapos she had something for me from Japan. She brought me like a skirt na was too big for me. But I liked it so much na I really wanted to wear it. So I guess I just figured na I was going to dance. So kailangan medyo free yung suot ko. And ayun, sinuot ko yung skirt na yun. Tapos I remember na every other minute, di naman, medyo OA. Basta, tinataas ko sa nang tinataas kasi nga, di ba, maluwag. Tataas ko tataas. Tapos hanggat sa nagsasayo kami, tapos bigla na lang nahulog. There was a moment na nagpanik na lang ako sa isip ko na, ano ba, papulutin ko ba? Or, hayan ko na lang dyan sa baba. Hindi ko rin alam, but I feel like he thought about should he pick it up then or hintayin niya na lang or sabihin niya na, uy, nahulog yung palda mo, baka hindi mo napansin. So, I did what you would probably do too, which is pick up my skirt and then run to the bathroom. Yes, I did that and I hid there for God knows how long. It felt like ages, honestly, but I'm not sure how long it actually was. What's funny is that sa banyo nila, there was this kind of small window that if you look outside, you'll see exactly where we were practicing. So I was just kind of, What do they think about me? Does he still like me? And it was so sweet because his mom kept on checking up on me. She kept on knocking at the door, but I just dismissed her like, Okay lang po ako. But I refused to come out unless, until my mom came and picked me up and I just never wanted to see him again but obviously that wasn't possible. Yun, that happened. A lot of these stories coincidentally include me running away or dismissing someone. Next story involves a YouTuber who you all may probably know, Luigi Pacheco. He is a friend of mine. I don't like like him, I just like him. Just a disclaimer. I actually ship Luigi and Roselle. They are really cute together. I met Luigi personally at the Five Sauce concert last year, but this happened during the YouTube Fanfest Creator Camp Studio, no, not Studio Day. I wasn't actually invited last year, but I got passes. I somehow won some, and I felt really, really anxious. Like, it felt so overwhelming. I remember it so clearly. And then I saw a familiar face. It was Luigi, so it made me kind of happy and glad because the moment he saw me, he was really, really nice. Like, I saw that he pointed me to Yen. Tama ba yung grammar ko? Basta parang sabi niya kay Yen, Uy, si Justino, I think. If I remember that correctly. Then he went to me and I just kind of was panicking a little. Kasi hindi ko lang alam paano ko magpapakat tao. Like, normal na tao. Hindi ko alam anong gagawin. Ganun. He was actually really nice. He said hi. And then he asked me how I was. Like, Uy, Justine, kamusta ka na? And I said, Ang tangkad mo talaga. I didn't even answer the question. 
that was after we hugged and then I told him how tall he was, which he was probably aware of. What made it worse was that after I pointed out the really obvious fact is I sat down on my chair completely disregarding the fact that he was still standing there waiting for a proper conversation with a human being, a normal human being at that. I'm sorry Luigi, you didn't get that. I'm not good at talking to people. I'm sure you probably know that already, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I've already apologized to Luigi via Twitter DMs last year because I'm just a human mess and again, just sorry Luigi. Now this last story happened in college. There was this guy who liked me. We went out like once or twice, like we saw a movie and stuff, but it just felt like I wasn't in the right place to be in a relationship and basta, I kept on looking for reasons to not be with him and just bottom line is I didn't want to be with anyone for that matter. You would think that I would just tell him that I didn't like him just to make it easier, but no. I tried to ghost him, ghost on him. Parang ganun yung unti-unting mawawala pero paparamdam pa rin ng unti para hindi naman bigla-bigla and halata na mawawala ako, ganun. Kasi I was just... <laughs> I'm not a good human. I've learned from my mistakes now though. <laughs> so one time I was in class and most of the time I use my phone even though it's not allowed. I got a text from him and he asked me out. He kind of wanted to see a movie and I straight up told him no. I don't want to see a movie with him and just no, please stop texting me. I mean, hindi naman siguro ganun ka straightforward. Basta parang ganun yung, yung gusto ko sabihin sa kanya. Ganun. He also told me na vacant na nila and uwi na nila. But again, I was still in class. Tapos, he said na he'll wait for me. And I think he knows my schedule then. And alam niya kung saan yung room ko and such. So, he was really waiting for me. Even though I really insisted na please do not just go. I remember instructing my friends na when we walk out, Dere-derecho tayo, maglalakad tayo ng mabilis, walang pipigil sa atin, no distractions, dere-derecho tayo kasi baka nandyan pa siya, tas makita niya ako, tas sabulin niya ako, like, uy, Trisha, tara, labas na tayo, pero ayoko talaga kasi. So, knowing me, maswerte ko nito, obviously, was still waiting for me, and he saw me, then instead of just walking away after one, Trisha, and me not looking back, he still went for me, like, Alam niyo yung nakita ko na siya, na andyan na siya. Tapos, hindi ako tumigil. And instead na tumigil ako, sana tumigil na lang ako. And sinabi sa kanya na, no, guys, tumakbo ako. Like, literal sprint. As in, tara, tara na, we have to go, we have to go. Uh, tapos, paglabas namin ng campus, magdi-jeep kasi kami. Pagsakay namin ng jeep, yun din yung jeep na sinakyan niya. Tama ba? Oo, oh, yun ata din yung jeep na sinakyan niya. And you know what his icebreaker was? Ba't mo ko tinakbuhan? And the tone of his voice didn't mean any sarcasm. He was concerned. Like, he really wanted to know why was I running. Bakit? Bless his soul. I just, I'm really sorry that happened to you. I'm sorry I did that to you. I'm sorry. I really tried to be a good human being. Like, a decent one. But... Alright, that is all the stories I have for you guys today. Please let me know if you guys want more of these in the future because I definitely have more. I'm 19 years old and I have a lot of memories. Awkward stories. Thank you to whoever suggested this video and if you have some more, please just comment down below or tweet me or Instagram me, whatever you want. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And that's it you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! Ow. Why are there kids? It's 3 in the morning.